So once you post the freight settlement document, okay, in this system, uh, what 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 happened? I don't have a system access, so I would be explaining you. And I will also tell you that how you can do the troubleshooting. Okay, if you want to go ahead and if you want to see that if something is not working, and that is a very common scenario we do into the project. And most of the people would be knowing that because you all are experienced people, right? So let me ask you. So we try to uh, uh, we try to do the transaction post freight settlement document, right? And system got stuck. We were expecting that service PO should be generated. Service entry sheet should be generated and the confirmation of the service entry sheet. These three, three steps should happen automatically. But it did not happen. What you will do? What kind of troubleshooting you will do? From where you will start looking ki bhaiya, where the problem is in the system. Okay, you can you can unmute yourself to explain or you can also let me know over the chat. What you will do if your uh, freight settlement documents get stuck, you post the freight settlement document, but nothing happened, neither, neither service PO, neither service entry sheet, it just got stuck. So how you will check in the system where the problem is? Put NI on the chat window if you have, I, I don't have any idea, no idea, if put NI in the chat window if you don't have any idea. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Or if you're already working as a consultant, I, I expect you would be coming up with some kind of troubleshooting. In the SAP projects, this is, we do it, right? So many problems you get and we try to get it resolved. That's the consulting mindset. Bara said, uh, uh, flow. yeah, please go ahead. It could be that the message did flow through to get created. There is an error in PI or the middleware. PI or the middleware, that's good. But this is an embedded system. So let's say we are doing an embedded system, how you'll be checking in embedded, there is no PIPO in the between. It's uh, your uh, core ERP system and S4 HANA system and TM system, they both are into the same system. Chris is saying uh, purchase all data not set up for the freight PO to be created. Okay, you will be checking the purchase org data. Good, Krish. What else? Anyone else wants to put their thoughts? <laughs> Prem said, put a debugger in the class method for FSD posting. This is what, uh, when I uh, work with the people who come with a very strong uh, support uh, background, they have handled a support project, that's the first thing they do. Any problem they get it before checking master data configuration, they are used to quickly do the debug and try to find where the problem is. So support consultant are more techno function consultant. Uh, the reason is in support, you don't get that kind of business knowledge. The business interaction is not that high. So you, you get stuck with that part, right? So you're used to debug it. Okay, yeah, debug is also one of the option. I use debug as a last option when other option has been ruled out. BOBT, yes, BOBT we use. I will also tell you, I have a screenshot, not the system, but from the screenshot, how you would be fixing the issues, some issues by going into the objects level and changing the object level things from BOBT transaction. Check if TM program is linked with S4 HANA program and TM master data. Finance is not uh, set up properly. Okay, that's very good. I just want to make sure that you get interacted into the session, you start, you some brain uh, storming, you get started. Now what you should do, or I, I should not tell you what you should do, you all are experienced people, but I will tell you what I do, okay? So anything which happens in auto, anything which happens in auto, the basic thumb rule is, if something is not working in auto, boss, first check it manual. Okay, first check it manual. So what is the manual thing? From post freight settlement document, we are trying to create a service PO. Now this service PO is linked with this FSD document, right? Maybe not with the FSD document service PO, but first you check in your system with org structure you have, with that org structure, can you create a service PO? By the purchase org you want to use, or by the services you want to see use with that purchase organization, with that services, are you able to punch a single service PO in the system? 
is there is any problem in the service PO? Okay, there you would be able to find it. It's service PO itself, some conditions are missing, some master data is missing, or some another errors is there. Even the service PO is not able to you, even the manual service PO, you are not able to get the post. Then you should try to post the service entry sheet and try to check whether the service entry sheet is having a problem and then try to do the confirmation and try to check whether the confirmation is having any problem. Okay, try to check whether the conf uh, configuration is having any problem. So when you will try to check this manual steps, you would be able to fix a lot of things rather than going into the debugging. If the manual things is happening, you have fixed all the things manually, everything is happening. Then you try to automate. Then if it is not working, we check the configurations, uh, TM uh, integration configurations, or we go into the debugging and try to resolve it. So in the previous system, also we faced this uh, error and issue and how we have resolved, we I try to went and try to create a manual service PO. We find that the uh, manual service PO posting was not happening. System was just throwing an error. Customization issue. Even this system also has this error customization issue. But this system, 2022 system, we ignore this uh, error because this customization issue was coming as a uh, just a message. And manual service PO, we are able to post it. In 2021 system, this customization issue, and this happens only in the best practice system. I have not seen this in the normal S4 HANA system. As soon as we implement best practice, then I have figured it out. This issue comes in service PO and service entry sheet. It just throws you a red message. It does not allow you to post that customization issue is there. Okay. And that issue we were getting it at the both places, service entry sheet and service PO. Normal PO perfectly fine. No, no issue at all. Uh, but the service PO service entry sheet in this system also we were having, uh, but in this system, system manually try to create it, but it will be keep on throwing an error or a throwing a message that there is some customizing issue is there. To identify that we've jumped into and then analysis that's in service PO, if this kind of message come, what can be the issue? And then we were able to find SAP nodes. Now this SAP nodes need to be implemented manually. So basically, when the pop-up comes where you in the service PO, where you enter the services, right? Where you enter the services, that screen layout is not matching with some standard table entries. That's why this error is coming. Maybe SAP has done some improvement in 2022 system. That's not an error message now, but still that message is coming. And we are doubting that that is the only issue that our uh, service PO or service entry sheet from the backend program system is not able to create it properly. Okay, so there are SAP nodes we have already identified, but it takes a lot of effort. We need to go and uh, we need to match the two tables. And after matching the two tables, we need to identically identify what is the difference. And that entries we need to manually delete in the table. It's not a implementation of SAP node. It's a manual correction by editing table directly. That's what SAP nodes suggest. Uh, I will, what I'm doing, another thing, I'm putting all the SAP nodes here. Okay, most of the SAP nodes as per our experience, which we have used in the projects or in this system, I would be adding the SAP nodes inventory. Although this SAP note is not relevant to TM, this SAP note is relevant to the problem in service entry sheet and problem in service PO layouts. Okay, but because of that, our, our TM final step has been stuck, right? So I already have those SAP nodes. I will get it updated in the mind map here. So that should be the general approach which you should be taking it uh, where you want to go ahead and uh, uh, try to resolve issues which you are facing it, right? Uh, whenever you find an issue, try to uh, go through that. Then you can go to the configuration or the master data and then last part is the debugging. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So Neil is saying that check the org structure properly created in PPOME. Yeah, that we will be covering today. Org structure created for the TM properly and whether it is integrated with the 
S for HANA org structure or not, that will be also going through today's session. So that was a problem uh, which we were facing and that's why the things was not happening. So what I did is that my service PO was created with this transaction. Okay, my service PO was created with this transaction, but after creation of service PO, system was not able to punch the service entry sheet. Service entry sheet was not available in the system. So I went there manually and I again that service PO, I created the service entry sheet manually. I confirmed the service entry sheet manually. Okay, I created the service entry sheet manually. I confirmed the service entry sheet manually. And then I went ahead and posting into the Miro transaction against my freight order. I posted it here. Okay. So this is a posting we have done for the Miro. Now in this Miro also, 